Hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? I'm Zoe. Welcome to my channel, Zoe's World. So today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you, but um, I have been reading your guys' comments and you guys would like me to do some uh, Taste Tuesdays, Try Tuesdays, that kind of thing. I'm going to do some reviews on a few products that I've picked up. So let's go ahead and get this party started with the uh, Dollar Tree haul first, and then I'll do the reviews. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by today. And for those of you who have been watching, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. I have tons to show you. And I got a notification that my Timu haul should be here today, a day early. So I'm super excited about that. So that'll be the next haul that we do here in a few days. Okay. So let's see what I got at Dollar Tree. First thing. This was in their spring stuff, a new watering can. I already have one of these in green, but they had pink this year, and I didn't see this last year. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that pink is my favorite color, so I thought it couldn't hurt to have a second watering can. So I picked that up. I'm hoping this year that we will have a big garden. I hope we get to do that. Okay, next thing, um, I'm seeing all these drinks come out on um, other hauler sites and on at Dollar Tree. Mine have not got all those protein waters. I don't know if you guys have seen those on other hauls, but I did find this. And it says it is reward zero calories, electrolyte electrolyte drink strawberry kiwi flavored. I actually picked this up for my husband. He is a big fan of the Propel drinks. And so I thought I would pick this up for him to see if he'd like to try that one. So I've got that. Just sitting this stuff down as we go. All righty. Came across this item. It is, um, I don't know how you say this name, Contadina. I know I brought like their spaghetti uh, noodles and stuff like that. I buy those a lot, but it's their pizza sauce in a squeeze bottle. It's sweet tomato basil and the size is 15 ounces. So it's a good size bottle. And we make homemade pizzas all the time. We make big ones, but sometimes we'll make like the little pan ones. And I thought this would be perfect. So it's for a little squeeze bottle. So I don't think you can beat that for $1.25. I don't know what those sell for like at the grocery store, but I thought that seemed like a good price. Next thing, um, I love fruit snacks. My favorite are the fruit roll-ups that are like the rainbow kind. But I saw these. They are unicorn fruit snacks. There's eight pouches in this box, so I thought I would pick those up and give them a go. See how they taste. Next thing. I saw on another person's um, haul that they had picked these up. They're the Albanese World's Best Gummies, Gummy Bears. And they have flavors. Uh, the flavors, it says there's 12 of them in this package. Cherry, strawberry, mango, lemon, pineapple, orange, green apple, watermelon, pink grapefruit, lime, blue raspberry, and grape. Um, I love gummy bears. I generally like the sour gummy bears that have like the sugar on them. I like them so much that sometimes I eat the whole bag and then I end up getting like a blister from all that sugar. But um, I thought I'd give these a go because they said that they're supposed to be like the best. So I'm going to try these and this is one of the things I'm going to taste for you today to see how they taste. So that's one of the things we'll be testing today. We might even test the gummy bears. I'm not sure yet. Okay. I also got this cool pen. Um, I am like obsessed with school supplies. I know I'm such a child, <laughs> but I thought this was so pretty. It's got this, this beautiful color and then this stone on the end. And I just love pretty things to write with, um, fun notebooks, notepads, that kind of thing. So I will love that. Put that down there on the bottom. Okay, next. I think I told you guys we are redoing my office, getting prepared for this new job that I'm starting in March. Well, um, it we're having to move all this stuff around because I just live in a single wide trailer and it is small. 
And so we were going to bring everything out into our driveway, all the furniture, because it's big. And so, did, so I got three tarps to do that with because we've been very rainy here, damp outside. So I didn't want to sit my furniture like on the, the concrete just because it's been so wet and damp. So I got three of those. And these are pretty good size for $1.25. They are four foot by six foot. So three of those. Unfortunately, today is the day we were supposed to do that. And it poured all night long and all morning. I mean, like, poured torrential rain. But besides the rain, we're having heavy, heavy, heavy winds here today. So it's so bad. I'm surprised that you guys can't even hear it in this car because I was debating on whether I should do this all day or not because the wind is so bad. I wasn't sure you'd be able to hear me. Okay, next thing. So I don't know. I guess we're going to move this stuff into the living room or... <laughs> something because the internet guy is coming tomorrow to give me an upgrade on our internet so I gotta have it out of there tonight okay the next thing is um I got more of these in wash aroma boosters and odor eliminator I have showed these guys before in a previous haul um what happens is this is the size that they used to come in and this is huge it's 17.5 full ounces and they come they don't never say a scent on the on the front of it but if you look on the inside their different colors are different scents. So this one is like yellow. It's got a few little blue ones in there. And then this other one I got, I bought two. It's the pink one, the multicolor. I think it's got pink. If you could, or no, it's not pink. It's actually the blue, the blue multicolored one. So let's show you what that looks like. Blue and pink, some yellow, a few different colors in there. But these are so enormous. The new ones that my store got in are literally like up to there, like the size of the little bottles. They're so small and that's not a good value. So I don't buy those. Um, I buy a lot of the Arm & Hammer ones um, when I can't get these at Dollar Tree. But they had them, so I went ahead and picked up two and I just happened to get two different kinds because you never know because it doesn't tell you on the tag. Just when you open it, it's two different colors. It's two different fragrances. So I was happy to get those. That saves me a little money on getting the name brand ones. This next thing, guys, is so up my alley. If you guys have watched me before talk about the 80s, I, I was born in 71, but I grew up in the 80s, my teenage years. I love the 80s. Everything about the 80s. In the 80s, everything was fun. People weren't so angry. They were having fun. Big hair, dark makeup, wild clothes, whatever you wanted to do, it was okay. So I found this coloring book, this adult coloring book at Dollar Tree. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So it's coloring the 80s, relax and rewind is what it says. If you guys can see that. And I'll show you a few pages from the inside. It's just got such fun things. Doesn't this remind you of the car from like Back to the Future, like the DeLorean? guitars because you know music was everything then they were fabulous bands all the big haired guys arcades video games this is just some of those fun fun prints you used to find on clothes there 80s mixtapes. Did you guys ever make a mixtape? You guys will have to let me know in the comments. But this, I'm going to have so much fun coloring in this. I love to color. It's kind of a uh, relaxing thing for me to do, this and scrapbooking. And so when I saw that, I had to get it. And I actually ended up getting two. My friend Tracy from high school, she lives in Florida. Her and her husband go on an 80s cruise every year. So, um, I like to periodically send out, um, I call it happy mail. Um, if I see a friend, uh, is going through something or, um, not even necessarily like that. She does this 80s cruise every year. So when I find 80s stuff, I like to send it to her like earrings or socks or whatever. So I've been accumulating a few little things for her. I had already, I don't think she watches this channel, so she's not going to see this, but, um, I, I don't think I've ever told her about my channel, but 
I have been kind of stockpiling a few little things for her and I'm going to send her a happy mail package out and that's going to be in that package. So I got her some, some cute little 80s things. Maybe I'll show you guys before I send it out. Okay, next thing. I got this gold frame. It is a 4x6, but it's actually a 5x7 because it's got the mat in it. I love this gold. I love gold stuff just in general. But the reason I got this is um, on my 50th birthday a couple years ago, we had a Golden Girls, because I love me some Golden Girls, themed birthday party. And I had so much fun, and I have so many great photographs. I'm currently doing a scrapbook-type junk journal um, with all those pictures. But there were, I wanted to do at least one in a frame for my office, so that's what I got this frame for. Yeah, I keep buying all this office stuff, and this room is so tiny, like, I, I probably am not even going to be able to fit all this in there. <laughs> okay, next thing. I have two dogs and a cat. My Maltese, she's hypoallergenic, so she doesn't actually shed, um, which is fabulous. <laughs> but we uh, got a friend for her who is a, they, they call it a Chorky, a Chihuahua Yorkie mix. And, um... She really sheds, and so does the cats that we have. So I uh, saw this there. It's not even a Dollar Tree. Um, it's not made, it's not distributed at Greenbrier or anything. It's actually a company that maybe one of the closeouts or something they get. So I don't know if you'll find it at your locations. But I thought for $1.25, it couldn't hurt to try it. It says it's a pet hair remover. And we get hair over it, just everything. Carpets, couch. So I thought I would give this a go. For $1.25, if it works, that's awesome. I've been meaning to get, have you guys seen the roll ones that like, it like rolls the hair up in it, almost like a, uh, like a lint roller sort of. Okay, next thing. I picked up a couple more packs of batteries because I still haven't gotten on Amazon to order my big multi-pack that I normally get. So this time I got, um, Let's see here. Looks like there's eight double A's in this one, and then eight triple A's in this one. And triple A's is what we use more of, but we do use the double A's too. So I'm just trying to stockpile my my battery holder thing that I try to keep full most of the time, so that we have them when we need them. This next item, I thought these are so cute. They're kind of mini eggs. And I will be decorating an egg tree in my house, so I picked these up. I have the bigger eggs, but I thought these little ones were pretty. And they're glittery, so they're really pretty for Easter. Okay, and while we're on that Easter front, I picked up this sign I think is so cute. They're doing a lot of peep stuff this year. Treats for my peeps. And that seems to be kind of a general uh, general theme question every year. People are talking about the peeps and whether you like them or not. I am not a fan. My daughter loved them when she was a kid. Um, she would always want them. And now they make like so many different flavors and everything. But I have yet to find one that I care for. Which is odd because it's kind of a marshmallow type candy. But um, I, because I love marshmallows. I love s'mores. and But... It does not taste good to me. You guys let me know in the comments. Are you yay for peeps or no? <laughs> okay, next thing. I already have the uh, dishwashing liquid in my house. But um, I get the really big bottle. And I get that um, Dawn Power Wash that you like spray on stuff. But this smelled so good when I was going through their cleaners and stuff. So I just went ahead and picked stuff to give it a try. Next, I saw these when I was looking for if they had any new makeup. I didn't see any this time, but they had the, these little applicators. Now, I know everybody's into the makeup brushes right now, and that's what I used to. But I do notice I get a lot of fallout with different different shadows and stuff. So I wanted to get some of these to see if that helps with, with those particular eyeshadows. This next item... It is a brand I have never seen at Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm even going to pronounce it right. E-T-O-S. Etos? Is that, do you guys think that's how you would say it? 
so cloudy out here today. I'm sorry this lighting isn't better. But this one is the Cherry Blossom Hand Lotion. And you can even smell it through. I mean, it's, it's sealed up. But I can smell it through that seal, and it smells wonderful. And I did end up getting two of these. My friend Jamie likes the Cherry Blossom smell. And I thought I'd give her one, too. So um, I got two of these. Next item, I saw people, a lot of people um, hauling the Kindle and Kylie brand uh, little backpacks. I hadn't seen those at any of my stores. They finally came out. There are quite a few prints. Um, I'm not completely impressed with them. I did pick up one to show you guys. And, of course, I picked this one up because it reminds me of the 80s. <laughs> but it is black and white checkerboard. And it does say Kindle and Kylie in rainbow colors all through there. I think the print is really cute. All the prints were cute, actually. I'm going to try to turn this camera just a little to see if it helps any. I'm not sure it will. If you all seen this contraption I have going trying to video this, you would laugh so hard. Okay. <laughs> I literally have my camera against a uh, hand sanitizer bottle so that it won't fall off the dash. And then I have my little coin holder that I got from Timu to lift it up. So <laughs> it's crazy, but it's working. So we're just going to go with it. I just, I feel like it's not very bright today because we don't have a whole lot of sunshine. Okay. So back to this backpack. It's a very, I mean, it's a very cute print. All the prints were adorable. Um, there was rainbows and unicorns and different ones. I chose this one, like I said, because um, it looks 80-ish to me. But it's very small. It's a mini. Um, it's not even as big as the ones that um, Dollar Tree carry theirs. I don't know if you guys have seen those. But it is the Kendall and Kylie brand. And then there's the inside of it. Got the cute little straps on the back. But I went ahead and picked up one because I wanted to show them to you guys. But two, I figured this would be handy to put little things in my car like that I want to keep in here. But I don't want like falling out everywhere. Like, um, you know, um, I have a small little thing that I keep like band-aids and uh, tweezers and my eyeglass fixing case thing that I got from Timu. And just stuff like that. Little necessity things I might need that I just don't want all out loose in my car. I figured I could just stick it in here. I do have an SUV now, so I can just stick it, you know, in the back or back seat or whatever, and it'll be neatly contained in this little package. So it will be used. Um, I'm just, like I said, I guess just the name brand. Everybody wants it because the name brand, and, and it's really not anything better than what Dollar Tree carries of their own. So <laughs> I guess that's my... my thought on it okay the next thing I have a really hard time flossing my teeth my teeth are very close together and um, someone told me that these gentle picks now I was I already used the placards those things but someone told me that these are so much better for people who have really tight teeth together so I got these to give it a try My dentist is always on me when I go. They're like, have you been flossing? I'm like, mm. Okay. Next thing. Um, I probably own 10,000 pairs of scissors. I couldn't tell you where they are, but I probably own that many pair because I'm constantly buying them. They just like disappear. I don't know where they go. It's like someone eats them. But I saw these in pink, my favorite color. So I had to pick them up because I know that I'm going to need them because the next time I need a pair, I won't be able to find them. Let's hope I can find these. Okay. Alrighty, so I think that is everything from the Dollar Tree haul itself. Now it's time for some product reviews. So first thing I want to tell you about actually is from Dollar Tree. I uh, showed it to you, I think on my last Dollar Tree haul, maybe the one before. But it is called, it's made by Personal Care, and it's called Sea Salt Hairspray Beach Beautiful Style, and it's Jasmine and Organic Coconut. It's 6.7 full ounces. Here it is. I used it today on my hair. So, so a little story about my hair. As I'm getting older, it is getting very thin and very wild. I mean, just wild. It, <laughs> when I was younger, my hair was straight as a 
board. I actually used to get perms all the time because I couldn't stand just how straight it was. That was before the whole straight thing was in. But like in the 80s, I wanted big hair like everybody else had. So um, I had perms back then and I also spent hours curling it. It's this perfect ringlet of curls. Now that I'm older, my hair is getting thinner. It's always been thin. Even when I was younger, it was thin, but I had a ton of it. Now I'm getting older and I don't have near as much and it's, you know, still very thin. And I usually, because it has started to actually get like a natural wave, curl, whatever, if I don't put something in it, it's very frizzy and just, it's fine. And I try to keep it somewhat short because it gets so tangled. But, um, I usually put this, uh, that Aussie spray. I also have a Paul Mitchell spray that I use. Both of, I won't use one or the other, whatever I have. And um, I do like those. They work great. But I decided to pick this up from Dollar Tree. It's just It's $1.25. And just to see how it would work. And this is the product for today. You guys, if you've seen my other hauls, you know this is pretty much how it, it looks most of the time. So I'm very happy with that product at $1.25. That's way less expensive than either one of the other two products I buy. So the only downside is if you don't pick it up at Dollar Tree when you see it, it may be gone next time you go back. So I need to go soon and try to pick up several bottles of this because I really like it and it smells amazing so that's my review for that so if you have any of those kind of issues or you just want some kind of they're supposed to be for beach curls I guess beach kind of just loose I would highly recommend it because it works great okay that's the first one the next item and I'm feeling like I need a drink so we're gonna do one of our taste tests um, and I'll let you know how it is so my husband and I shop at a store called Buckeyes. I haven't showed you a haul from there because the last few times we've gotten, it's just been stuff for like our pets. Um, we get their dog food there. It's, it's sort of a farm store. I don't know if you have them where you live, but they have coolers with drinks and stuff in them up by the checkout. I am a sweet girl, sweet tea kind of girl. So I love me some sweet tea. That's pretty much all I drink for the most part. Um, I mean, I drink soda and stuff if I'm out and somewhere and they don't have sweet tea, but for the most part, I prefer sweet tea and um i saw this up at their cash register so i don't know if you all have bug guides or not or if that's just a i'm in illinois so i don't know i don't know where all they go but they had this stuff called it's a it's from um it says it's a small batch craft tea with natural flavors and oh it's actually bottled by excel oh that's actually an illinois company out of belleville illinois and the, it says that this is ginger strawberry lightly sweetened tea. Now, I may not like that because I like me some sweet tea. But we're going to give it a go and see how it tastes. It's got twist off cap. Got the company name on there, Excel. And now that I see it's Excel, you guys might not be able to get this where you're at. Um, it is a local company, so I'm not sure. But I'll give it a try. We'll see how it tastes. actually very good it has a uh, a very light it's more strawberry than tea I guess I would say you can taste tea but it's just it's got more of a strawberry hint than the actual tea taste so it almost reminds me of a very light faint fruit drink but not with that massive fruit sweetness kind of thing pretty good I might actually buy some more of these. Okay. So the next item I'm going to try for you to taste. Oh, let's go back and forth. So I told you about the product I tried. This next one I want to show you is from Timu. This one I was like thoroughly amazed by because it has got excellent, excellent power. So I used to get my nails done in a salon for years. I mean, since I was like 16 years old, like years and years. And when I moved to this area, it's a rural area, I couldn't find a good salon to do nails anymore. So I just quit getting them done. Well, that made me sad because I, I feel very girly when I have my nails done. <laughs> and so I've tried everything, you know, the stick on, the stickers, the different kinds of things. I'm not good at doing that stuff. And I just, I wasn't overly, I mean, I could do it, but I didn't love it. So I recently um, started trying the press on nails. In my case, I glue them on, but the press on nails from Timu. And number one, they're so affordable. 
if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll see I, I've talked about just how affordable they are and all the different prints and stuff that they have. So it's nice to be able to change them constantly if I wanted to for such an affordable price. In between my changes, I do try to file my nails down and buff them out so that to keep my nails nice because I don't want them getting kind of gross. And actually right now they're needing to be done again because I just took a set off. But um, I bought this. comes in this pretty purple case. Here is the actual device. It's battery operated. I got batteries in it. And I'm going to show you how it works because it is powerful. It reminds me of the salon, the salon machine that they used to use on my nail that was like plugged in. I cannot believe the power that this thing has by just being battery, battery operated. It comes with a little instruction booklet. And it comes with all these little different heads in this little baggie. I've kept mine in here just because I don't want to take a chance to lose them when I... As I take them out and use them, I put them back in it and put them in that little case that it came with. But just to kind of give you an example how this works, I'm going to show you. Because right now my nails need to be filed and buffed out before I put a new set on. I thought we were going to be moving all that stuff today, so I... Well, we are going to be. We have no choice. I got those people coming tomorrow. <laughs> but um, it just... Sorry, I should have done it on camera. This just fits right in the top of it. You just press it down. Okay, once you get it down like that, there's a little button right here. And literally, and it has all these different um, accessories to go on it. So, Everything that you need is right here. So the power is amazing. I actually need to trim that one a little bit. So this is a product that I highly recommend. I would say definitely five out of five stars. Okay. So let me put this back in here real quick. See my husband, he's doing something in this yard in this wind. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so that came from Timu. So if you guys, I'm sure, just look up like uh, nail, uh, nail accessories, that kind of thing. I'm sure you'll find it. Okay, and then the very last thing I wanted to try are these gummies for you. I was gonna try them and tell you how they taste. Let's see if they if they uh, stand up to my. You know, I like the sour gummies. Let's see if I can actually, if I like these. Okay, yeah, I might not be able to. I don't know if I can get them open. Oh, how lucky am I that my husband keeps his knife in the car. Okay, pocket knife. Alrighty. So let's try this and see how it is. Oh, we got a green one. Maybe that's green apple. Oh, it is good. It's got great flavor, and that is green apple. Mm-hmm. I still like sour better because I just like sour candy in general. But definitely. Watermelon. Yes, these are delicious, and they're very fresh. They're not, you know, sometimes you get gummies, and they're kind of tough. These are very, very fresh. Mm. Delicious. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys like this haul. I hope you are having a fabulous day. I'm getting hot out here. It's warm. It's just, ooh the win. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, this, this is actually, I'm videoing on Monday, but I wanted to have it done for Taste Tuesday tomorrow. So it'll be uploaded for tomorrow's, um, day because it takes my, my thing like a day to upload everything. 
But I hope you guys like this haul. And again, in a few days, you're going to get a new Timu haul from me because it says my shipping notification. It should be here today. I'm working Tuesday at the hospital. Oh, Tuesday, by the way, is my last day at the hospital. They have asked me to stay on as a PRN, which I'm so excited by. So um, I will get to go and work part-time here and there as needed if I'm available from my other job. My other job is a five-day-a-week job, so I don't know how many days I'll be able to do that. But I'm hoping to get to go back and see friends and stuff and help out here and there as a part-time employee. But um, my actual official uh, last day is tomorrow, and then I start my new job on the 6th. So um, that's very exciting. I can't wait uh, just because it's a new chapter in my life. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I hope you guys like this haul, and I hope you like the um, testing of the products and the taste testing today. So let me know what you guys thought about that in the comments. I love to read them and comment back to you. And again, um, have a great week and be blessed. See you next time. Bye.